And I like that cam. It's going to force out all of this control towards Dish. QCK still wanted to fight for it, and he's paid for that with his life. His teammate, though, Khalil, coming in with at least the first. A little bit paranoid on that, and he'll be dropped as well. A little bit more aggressive from Khalil. Obviously picking up a, an Astra here. It's a little bit more interesting from his side of things. We've seen him switch up those roles. Castle. What? Damn. All right. He's here to play today. That ace as well. And he's going to catch him off guard on a side angle. Oh, but he won't end up with the ace. Shut down at the end. It might not be a victory in rounds. The Brazilian teams in the past, it's probably just someone you want to stay away from. And if you are scrimming them, it's going to be an ascent or something. You know, nothing really out of the ordinary. Unlike uh, that. Uh, How did Zan get away with two to start that out? Furia dominating the early fights and looking at a 4v2 now. Yeah, they had a, a heavier stack in towards this A site as well. And now... We're looking at the remaining two. Now, this is similar to the last round. As much damage as crew can hope to achieve. Make it so that there's some repurchases. Make it so that your rebuy is going to be strong. Every single player, though, is coming in from Dish. And I don't think anybody's going to be expecting this. Straight through the nebula they go. Looking to try and pick them apart. It gives an opportunity. They all lined up for a second. And with NCR only on 12, it keeping things up. Or about, no, wait, I've got that backwards. I'm talking about Furia. Doesn't seem to matter, though. That happened. Yeah, he's head over to his team and there he is Mazin finding the kill will get traded out in response again bear in mind there is some weaker weapons here for furia but they do still have a man advantage even if he is on just a slither of health it's going to be the rotation no that's going to be free information pushing it and mazino has no idea that there's a player oh he does he suspects it's a double bush they've done it too often but furia still get away with the kill leaving kesnan and delzik to do it all in a 2v3 and they're running out of time Gonna be able to get on to the park. Zan still getting kills, even with just one health. And now it is left all onto Kesnit to try and clutch this one back. Not on his usual age. He's actually gonna pop himself up. His opponent's been lodged up into the air, flying through the sky. QZK. But they're still both over on Dish. And he has an inkling there coming from the other direction. He's got to be careful as they look to try and drop down. The sound cue will give it away. Sprays down the first, but the trade comes in thick and fast. QZK will give another round for... They'll get the map control. And now really the ball is in cruise court. If they can manage to up the pace and push into a site. Oh or shut down that push, but neither happens. Yeah, this whole round is disgusting. Even their B setup is something I want to highlight. Really low trips. A poison orb so that it they're covers so you walking through it. Oh, like, they're so late. It just seems like Why Fury are playing this round incredibly well. But there is a response with a cosmic divide. Mazin's actually going to be caught with his gun out. And this is falling apart now. Khalil will at least trade one back. And Zan is in position just to try and deny them. Turning it into a 2v3 scenario. But they're starting to win the duels back. A two versus two. Zan desperately low on HP. Just trying to dodge around the aftershock. But they pincered him into a corner. And what started like such a good setup. Now comes down just to NZR. Almost catches it out. But Kesnit there with a trip. That's the real question. They try and push into this. Here comes the rolling thunder. But Nagza, as he tries to jump over, has just been caught. QZK already managing to find a couple of kills. This B site hold is just looking disgusting. And they're finding openers every single time that crew actually try and push into the site. It's going to come down to the clutch ability of the squad once again. But they have it in bucket loads because it's not pretty. QZK is having a round and a half. And Mitch, there's only two remaining. Yeah. It it's going to be a tough hold for Crew, and with another player down, walking in through that Cosmic Divide. The only chance for Mazzino, and he'll get nothing as QCK pulls. Going to have two players close, oh. with no idea that he's already here. He catches one off guard, nice and easy, even good for a second as Khalil falls. Sure, the info will be there to play with for Fury, but Crew have got the advantage. Yeah, they've got themselves an afterplant, a deep Viper's Pit, so they, it's very difficult to actually get anywhere near the site without having to bypass Klaus on the way forward. This is going to be a very, very difficult scenario, and you actually see on the extremities as well, there are players ready and waiting. Now, this does give individual duels, and as I say that, NZR actually manages to win one of them, so back into a 3v3 scenario, Delzik will trade and keep things in a pretty good position. And they need to try and clear somebody on the wrap back around the swing from Delzik. Actually grants another, and now it's left all on to Zand. Timer ticking, operator wanting to be saved, and crew with a fast pace. Pushed up on A before, found the one-for-one one trade. Wasn't great, but it's not the end of the world when you're that jet dashing. Pushing up and taking dish control. First couple of seconds, he's already in there. There's a flash Ooh. to support him. They are really trying to pressure oh, no. this control that Furia have been getting again and again. 
There are some very good reasons why you don't go pushing through a Viper's Pit too often, and I think that is one of them. Especially, I, I like the fact that they still have Scythe Utility in yeah, there. Yeah, it's just nasty. Like, it's just like, you, you, you can't even see half the stuff there. And Zan watching in that direction. He actually whiffs. The trade is there again from Khalil, who's trying to catch them on the cross. A good fault line will hold him back and give an afterplant once again. But they're still watching to try and find where Klaus has gone, because with the spacing, they move up. I don't think they're going to even Here. look towards the side. Time's going to be too low when they run back into the side as well. Really, a uh, player who has to be making this play is QCK. And if he doesn't find an angle pretty soon, those players are just going to be mowed down coming out of main. The Rolling One Thunder doesn't even need to be used. They realize that. Kesnet cleaning it up. And that's when Klaus chooses his time. When your opponents are feeling that comfortable, they can do whatever the hell they want. And Klaus right now, well, he's in a bit of danger. Pushed up, the smoke was... Having to fight back in afterwards. Still, though, they have the man advantage to do it. They mid in a lot of these scenarios, which may retake oh, oh. really awkward. Zan, though, is just going to go up above. He may be vulnerable, but he's still fighting. Has Khalil alongside him and just lands the headshot. It's left all onto Nagzit. They expect him to be here, and Zan is going to land every single knife. Fence, if Furia are as prepared over on the attack, which I'd imagine they will be, I get a little bit worried. They've managed to isolate both of those duels. Yeah. <laughs> that is not a, a pretty picture. Again, there's going to be this control taken, but it's expected now. And that's the thing. There was a couple of rounds for crew where they got that spawn control and they were able to win rounds off the back of it. Well, it hasn't happened in the last couple. Kesnit, though, he's just popping off! What on earth is that? Three headshots in a matter of seconds. He turns this round on its head. Making this a possible scenario. A two versus two. The flash placed into both players' faces. The peek through from Delsing, but he doesn't expect Zan into the 1v1. The stun has landed perfectly onto him. Kesnit has just used it to escape. Has no idea where he is at Kesnit. The majority of the team can rotate over, especially with a flank already coming through. I think the most important is Kesnit is now here. He's got an aftershock to play with. His fault line should be up pretty soon. As they lose the first player here, crew. Fighting their way in towards this side. Lots of players on low HP. Nags at just 23 health. Oh, this is tough. They know where he's coming from as well. No opportunity to deny left. that plan. He's going to have to make his Fight. way through. It's up to Nags to try and find what is a, a very nice. awkward position. And it may have just got that little bit worse. Having to take the extra time to get rid of the pin. And Well, they're, they're actually just running straight to what? him. QZK, what's just happened there? A complete misread of the scenario. Maybe looking to try and get this one to Harv. Just going to have to try and hit the instant headshot, and it's not going to be happening. Mazin ends up... Playing towards the B side. Yeah, I, I can only assume he's trying his best to sell a fake here, and it has not worked. Delzik is just slim, slim, at least. Cage is being oh popped life. just to give that extra bit of space. Mazino with a wonderful headshot onto his counterpart without the O. And now without a head. One enemy remaining. Obviously, Khalil didn't want to run through that cage, but now he's going to be yeah. caught with 14 seconds left, and he's got to run through bullets. He's got to just left. run into them and die, pretty much. See if he can take a few with him, but he will not. And crew now that they're on their buy round, it's time to execute off of it. And you'll see they already have a Viper's Pit to play off. Look who's... Oh, no! <laughs> Taken down through the cage! So this can open up the opportunity, as we discussed before, to make it in towards the spawn, but they've already eliminated Mizino. Now, there actually might be an opportunity for Fury to get to the site. Unfortunately, though, they've lost a player in return, and the time really is starting to Ten tick away. Left. Ten seconds for them to try and get something done, but they're just Five beginning to land teams. every single shot, even looking for a kill onto a teammate. It is this Five man, planted. though, remaining. Kesnit in a one versus two. He's been killing anyone that's put into his path so far. Oh, they pick him together. 11 H. Finding any opportunities just yet. Sand is already deep within the site. They've used that rolling thunder to try and take some space. But again, we're looking at these ciphers. They've just been incredible throughout this map. Both players, obviously, in the first half, we saw the same from QZK. The thing is, though. They've taken control elsewhere. QZK mentioned his name. He only gets himself one. And now we have to counter Rolling Thunder. The spike, though, has still not made it in. And it doesn't even seem to matter that the stun came in onto Khalil because he's just landing the shots anyway. Left into a two versus two. Make that just one as the spike looks to be planted. But his teammate's so far away. He can't actually risk this. If he died, there would just be the defuser. It's better to just almost try and bait that clock a little bit longer. The NZR is walking as slow as humanly possible. The dash, though, is him in. So oh, that Furia want to just blitz in towards this site. You still have 
Klaus down below with the Sheriff we saw earlier on. They haven't cleared him out, so he's going to be good for two. The drop down from Zan deals with him eventually, but that's quite a lot of damage done for just a pistol. And the knives coming out for crew to give them the advantage. This has got very, very scary. Available, but so low on HP, the flash is decent, but he completely misses. It's an issue for sure. The shot from Delzix, nice though, and it's left all on Takilio. The youngster trying to clutch this one out, but he can't quite land the shot. It's clutch Kesnit to close out another round for crew. These position, but look who is hiding behind this box. Kesnit hasn't been spotted. They know that the jet fell back. This is where he has an opportunity to strike and completely catch them off guard. He's good for the first, blindsided, but still takes down Khalil. A three versus four on the back of it, but Furion needs to hurry up and they still got Nagza to deal with. Yeah, he's been dodging and weaving all of this time, just trying to avoid getting killed early and finds the perfect spot to grab a couple of kills. Now NZR, 15 seconds. There's no chance he manages to bring this back and Nagzit ends it with a triple. I, I have no idea. Seconds left on their smokes, which yep. then dissipate, leave them completely in the open, and the last second execute is complete. But now on the attack, I want to see how they're going to use it. And the biggest problem, as you said, the spike is alone. Sure, QCK is going to find the first, but they need to deal with Nagzit, who's current. Common one. It allows you to drop down without too many issues. It's expected, though, okay. however. It's clean. And Zand is just going to double up as well. Leaving Mizino left. He's got a neural theft, but I don't think it's going to win him the round. I do like the idea from Furia. It's still... These guns expecting them to just be hiding behind the dish, but they've actually gone all the way back. I think Furia realizing how important their economy game is, but... Like, they could be screaming, rotate, rotate, BB. He just needs to hear Nags, and then he's on his way. This is going to be tough oh, for Dells. Go, oh, he's in a lot of... Oh, how is he still alive? He'll be taken down by Mazin eventually, but the trade is instantaneous from Kesner, who just leaves the site, content to play the retake that they want. Once that Cosmic Divide has gone down, and they're going to even waste a little bit more time, try to... Oh no. Oh, Nagsit, he's been See waiting ya. here all round, and now he won't left. get any opportunity to punish his opponent to just be sat on the spike as well. Like, it's a, a bit of an odd position, but his teammates have such a solid crossfire that could make things a little bit difficult. However, Kesnet again, standing. has already managed to find one. He needs to do work with a classic, and he will hit himself a ding. But it's QZK looking to try and take away that top fragger from him. And he's been doing a damn good job of it. And it was a good chance that QCK wouldn't have been alive at that stage. A missed op shot. It came in prepared to play Fracture. Oh my god, I thought Zand was about to... Go! Oh, 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 maybe not for long. Zand, he's got the smell of his opponents looking to try and hunt them down. It's... A blade storm on blade storm action. He still hasn't cleared out the bottom of the site. I don't they know if he though. realizes. Yeah, this. yeah, he does. So it's still going to be very difficult. And his teammates peeking a little bit wide. This has become incredibly awkward. A trade back and forth. Zan runs out of the knives, but it doesn't matter because Khalil's decided to pop off the youngster looking to try and help them close this. It's left all on to Naxit. One versus two. He gets the individual duel, but he can't quite fall away. For the spike to go down. Damn, that's a fast play. Dash, look at this. They want in, they want out, and they want this round one in their pocket because I tell you what, if you want to bring the Sage and you want to be able to bring the Frenzies, you got to get up in their faces. And speaking of, that'll be a deletion of multiple of the crew players as the Frenzy will pop in the Sheriff will not. What a positioning from Zan. Look at him. He's not going to stop. He's going for more. He's going to flank through the back, up into the tower, through the glass. That's playing back on A and B side. They're playing inside of Garden. It's kind of forced out. Oh my god, Zan's already on them. Sky, his pace in the round is unbelievable. And Mazin will even take down Delzik. Res available. Rifles upgraded. This is looking like a. Oh my god, they can't even deny the res. Oh, wow, it's gone beautifully, hasn't it? <laughs> Almost as expected, you could say. Now it's down to Klaus and Kesnit to try and bring this one back. Klaus is going to find one, dismiss, get back out of the corner and bring this one back into contention. It's still a pretty awkward fight to take. The fact is, if there's no peak coming out from the remaining players, there's absolutely no wow. hope. And Zand is going to get one KD while dashing into a site. He's going to keep doing it. Oh, wow. Okay. Delzik is, he, well, you see, he just got an angle on that, right? The, the smoke disappeared. It was a little late pulling up the second one, so he could line up his crosshair and just fire away. And as we all know, even Screams confirmed, that Arcane Sheriff just hits differently. It, it, the accuracy is up. I don't know. Locks on to players.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen El Diablo using it as well, so that's yeah. not confirmation enough. Delzik's managed to find another one. This is starting to get a little bit shaky. The last few rounds have been solid. The lineup from Khalil, though, is already going to drop another. He'll be the last man standing, looking to try and fight this back, and he's just buying so much time. There's nothing they can do in terms of the defusal, but killing all... Never mind, we don't get time we for that. Max, it's already getting aggressive. He's trying to get out of here now. Cloudburst put down, but in comes Zan. Not going to check the corner. They don't believe he's still Ooh. there. Blindly firing away in the corner. Nags, it's taken down eventually. Just too much utility coming his way. But the fact that Mazzino falls as well, that's a... Fortunate, because uh, considering this has been almost an eight push every single round. Formation. And yeah, with the smoke up. I mean, I guess he was just... What? Did he use where they shot the Lear left. from? I... If he did, he is a genius. Like an actual genius. Or he's just incredibly lucky. Either way, we end up in a 3v3, and I don't think they care which one it is. Oh my god, that was, that was actually insane. Now Delzik's able to pick up Zan. Coming around the corner, he'll get another! And it's all on the QCK. The 1v3! Oh, what? 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 Oh. <laughs> if he'd got to, I think I would have just left. Caution here than what we see on the other side with the just extra pieces of utility. A lot of them made vulnerable, but the vulnerability doesn't really do too much. We see just trades back and forth. Naxic has it coming up big. And now just one man standing. Oh, okay. Not a bad shot on a Mazzino, but that's first. We're looking at an AX act that's going to come in quite quickly. Look who's tucked in the left corner, though. Completely unexpected. Oh. Great Hunter's Fury to find the first oh, Delzik being awkward. returned on. He's dancing around and trying desperately to survive as Fury a fight for the site. Only the one kill to come their way. A res will be deployed. They, they've got to break their own wall. They've got to rush in. I, I almost wonder if they just saved now. There's a short they play. No, they're, not, they're not saving at all. The short players are rushing in. Only gonna find the one here. Mazzino, well able to hold on to that control. A 4k out of the Sova. Yeah, with especially when you've got these ultimates now coming there online. And when you've got Nags, right they're gonna have to break this door open and push in with 25 seconds left. Yeah, we've also seen the, the cosmic divide. They're gonna have to try and run through it. Kesnet popping the Empress, giving him a chance to just frag out. Now they are actually gonna use it to try and get the plan down themselves. And NCR has managed to push through. The problem, however, is they are somewhat surrounded. Zan remaining. gets one before he dies, but the plant still hasn't gone down. They have to do it here and now, and even just the time delay has worked out for the side of crew. You can understand the attempt of an... Okay, sure, he hasn't got to kill the majority of times, but he has found out a lot of info. It's fun to see... Oh, that's big. He ran out of ammo, though. ...ing away with his rifle, so... There is very little to none information currently there, and Dalzik... That timing was spot on. He's gonna find... Okay, that wasn't, but I guess at this point it really doesn't matter. The four versus two, he has the spike. He's gonna run into that operator. Round's already over. It's just how much, well, I guess stat padding NZR can do. Eight to four from four... Nine, very convincing. They have looked in control. That is just a fact, and... Oh, it's the oh that's not great. You have to watch it. Yeah, but that smoke down, obviously these players can just come barreling on through. I think they broke the door. I think, I think, yeah, they it did. Is, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. They broke the door after Pulled closing it, down, it. it. And so then that's why they're having to actually keep close on this position because they can't actually close it. It may not actually matter. It may end up helping Delzik to find kills. Who said the right click of the classic is dead? That man's finding headshots left and right and a flawless close to this. Expecting that to be the choice. They went for a cent. I was hopeful that we would see something of the same as the last. Instead, it has just been domination. Nice little crossfire though. Timmy even going to be pulled out. Not that it really matters. Well, considering this is a bonus round, this is still looking incredibly clean. And, well, they're about to break that 10 round streak. Yeah, I mean, not too impressive doing it uh, up against the bonus if they lost to the bonus, then we would be uh, basically just looking at the next map. So this was a, a requisite for them, and they've managed to pull it. Time Mitch is ticking all the way down. They're looking to try and execute through mid and move in towards this B site, but already they have lost that opening duel. Still, though, with only two players to defend it and the others very far away, they need to have a solid hold. And you know what? It is damn solid. Only one player being dropped is Zand, and well, next it, he'd have to have the best late round of anyone ever and probably be cheating to kill some people through some walls.
A defaulting for crew here is something I kind of want to see. I think they're going super aggressive on a lot. It puts them on a pedestal now. Coming into Ooh. this round where QCK done so well so far is, is they have just not panicked. The second they get any of these openers, the swing should be coming. And that's just all too easy. They almost expect this aggression at this point. And Fury are just falling into their own trap. NZR, this looks like a desperation oh. ult, and he comes close, but yeah. it, it's not achieved anything. I think that was called off the back of Messino being so low to try and remove that Hunter's Fury from the round and get a pick. It ends up damaging Nags. It nearly takes Mazzino down. And he'll survive. And with the trades coming in in favor of Crew, they've got a four versus two as they plant that spike on A. Planted. Not quite on spot. Moving around the generator. This is aggressive from NZR. And an 11th will be found for crew. They only barely losing a blade storm instead, so I guess that's why. That's Nags it. Blade storm again to face a difficult retake. Yeah, they do, however, have a lockdown. So they're going to try and just force these players out of position. And in fact, both teams have decided to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Just waiting the other out. Let's we'll see if anybody actually gets trapped, but it's gonna be the space looking to be taken. Is that oh my five god! Players have been detained across both teams? What is that? I have literally never seen this before. The double lockdown, double triple detain. As Zand is just cleaning up, covering that diffuse, <laughs> and they'll get away with it. One of the more ludicrous rounds around the corner, at least the trade. Klaus already down, it's time to move through short. One has already been spotted, the smoke goes up, QCK falls back. Gonna concede the control, allow them to move towards this site. But he'll punish Nags, who got a little too greedy. Oh uh, my god. What? They've got the site, they've got upgrades, and now all of a sudden, a round that started out in spectacular fashion for Furia is very mu much up for contention yeah. again. There's a red, but it's, it's kind of in spots where you can't really do anything about it, so... It, it, it almost becomes irrelevant until you manage to clear out these players on the site. And at that point, well, you don't really need the res anymore. The angles also be being, eh? been playing close. And although there's an operator picked up for Delzig, it's not really going to be too valuable here. He's just going to stick to his pistol and they are trading things out effectively. This weak purchase looks so rough to begin with. It's now left on to just NZR. He has to try and make the play oh, through. Oh. He jumps over the top to find himself one. Going back in, but Delzig with this pistol will confirm the thrifty round absolute fill have you ever seen that before have you ever seen someone do that in a comp game before not as clean as that nowhere near and to get away with it like that you you could see qck so already his wall will fall but with only 45 seconds left some space needs to be taken it does look like they're gonna go walking straight in to the judge the first kill comes for free but there should almost definitely be a trade you know he hits the shot anyway nags it with two back to back, looking to put this one in the grave. 30 seconds left. Now for the defenders to try and do anything, the plant coming through on the A site. And more, oh, this might not be pretty, but even the time being bought is worthwhile. This is going to be a rough one. And Mazzino, that's just Phil. Yeah. That's the timing to get that kill. He knew they wanted the weapon, right? That's a, a good little lurk out towards the bottom of mid. NZR is dead, and it looks like Khalil might be done for here. He'll find the first, but still three more to go. That was a damn good attempt, but in the end. It doesn't seem to matter to the Brazilian killers. No, it, it absolutely does not. You know what, though? All the utility being expended, but look, Klaus is already in the back site, ready to swing in and help the rest of his team in these duels. Barely even needed. Look at that collateral kill with a classic into it. The push coming down through middle ain't going to see all too much. Delzik shut down as well, and Tom, well, that, that round was set up to be decent, and in fact, it ends up with very little. Well, it was, it was a bloodbath, just not in the way that they wanted. Yeah. Because th that's the thing. A prime they pop a uh, a drone down. <gasps> I don't believe he just hit that shot. Station begins to be pulled, but there is some utility looking to try and delay them back into the oh. side. The problem, though, is Nags is still there. And now the cavalry arrives. Mazzino looking to peek around. Kesnit on sight. Mazin doing at least some decent damage along the way, hoping to try and make this one a little bit more costly. Baiting them in, but it doesn't matter. Nags is hitting every and they have looked incredible so far. One of these teams are looking to try and battle it out after heading into this lower bracket. Great entries though. Mazin combining with Zan. They've got to get out of the lockdown, but realistically it's not gonna play the biggest of parts. Imagine three Klaus is fighting back into the site, trying to do it all on his own. Man wanted to put the world on his back. 
maybe hoping to buy a little bit more time for Nags, but they now expect this. Like, it, there's only so much this man can do, and he's very good at isolating jewels. I really hope he doesn't manage to ice cut her too. I'd be down for that. Okay. I got a marker. Megan, look at the spikers as well. This is almost like, I don't want to say a solo mission because there's technically two players, but Zan just walking in. They're also baited. Look at the rotation. This is all a fake. They're throwing up, but it will be an afterplant. There's not much that can be done other than Nags oh. hitting a nice timing. He gets away with the first. Oh. Goes back for a little more. Oh. A double kill off the back of the only rifle they have. Klaus has managed to retrieve another one. A nice idea for Furia, but it started to fall apart. Still plenty of time to play with, but it's all on tech. Said, oh, to try and hold it back, and Klaus is going to close it with a triple. I think it was almost the assumption that their fake had worked better than it did. Yeah, that ends up hurting them in the end. How is he still alive? Okay, thank God. Zand again. This man with a spectre is almost good as everyone else with a rifle. And Mark Hesnit, the second he picks one up, is going to kill him off. It is just going to be the fallback, though. Hesnit actually gets dropped off that. So, and firms that it's a Klaus still has the timing, oh. but the shot's not going to be connected. The funny thing is, if they didn't recon... I'm really impressed by Zand. I think he kind of fell off towards the second half of Ascend, but other than that, the side that they go towards, Kesnet has been huge so far. That Cloud Burst, though, manages to keep Zand alive. He doesn't get a kill, but he damn well contributes to it. Ooh. So does Vizino, though. A fast double before he's taken down. And of course, it's Zand to get that done. <laughs> just walked in. He's only using the pistol and... Oh, the rifle is there. He's managed to retrieve it. This is going to be a nasty surprise if they peek oh. in. Matter just about gets... Lockdown, though, is almost a fake out. They're going to start running it towards that seaside, looking for the opener, but they don't expect Delzik in the corner. Still, though, he only gets one. That his teammate has rotated in and even put in a counter lockdown. They need to try and destroy this, and it's being defended. Looking for a repeak, it may not be worth the risk. There's still enough time that they can go for this, but Kesnit lands the shot. The heal is his, and with the spike on the ground, is left just onto one. Mazin will tell it he used up. I'm surprised. Nagsit. Oh. What? <laughs> he goes all the way? I mean, Kesnit decided to battle helpful in a lot of these fights. Rotate sleeve. What? Kesnit falling. Shock dart to backside. Here's where Klaus decides to pounce. He gets the first. Dalzik still dealt. Well, dealt with eventually. And so it's a 3v2. 10 seconds left. Zeno with a huge uh, pick. Oh my god! There's only 8 seconds for this spike to be planted. And Nexus walked in with the operator, closing out the round and putting. Gonna check He's found the doorway in the corner. Angles. He's heard the reload and almost get caught jumping up. Dalzik, though, just still holding that ground. They'll win the duel eventually. Now they've actually decided to bypass him, just go straight back through, but they do not expect Klaus to just be waiting here. A second player on the peak is Kesnet, whose Empress may have dissipated, but he has not. And it's left all onto Mazid, trying to hold on 1v3. It's going to be a 7 to 5. Plant. They'll use up a little bit of utility on the way through, but without having to be something that blinds half of the team, because getting back into this site looks like an impossibility. And he's already dead. That was the one piece of utility they had getting back in, other than just jet dashing through. And although the trades are coming thick and fast, they need to pick up the pace a little bit. Push through from Klaus, nags it with a triple. <laughs> he could throw the weapon off the map. You'd still donate another one to him, and that's why he comes in swinging. Yeah. On to Khalil, and they've <laughs> double opened it. That is, it, honestly, it's disgusting how much better crew have gotten in the last few months. That's such a well-timed push in. How many times? It's worthwhile. This is an absolute disaster for Fury if they don't manage to save the... Yeah, I think we both do. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Well, that's a good start. I don't know what was said. I don't know what words were uttered by the coach of Furia, but if it would be any damage at all... Oh wow, okay, this is a strong round for Fury, and they're getting away with this one almost flawlessly. A fight will be put up by Klaus and Manus. This isn't a buy. One versus three scenario, he's baited out the plant, oh. and unfortunately goes back for it. Some mind games by crew, they're playing this one perfectly, and they're even ready for Kesnit to be trapped in the corner. Oh, it's a bait. Yeah. It is a big bait. Look, they already left. start rotating. NZR, he's making a move. He's going to be caught in the open, but he oh! hits both shots. Spike the thing is, they played eight. him perfectly. He was in the open, but if he can keep hitting shots like that, it doesn't matter at all. That's incredible. I mean, sometimes you, you can set up the round perfectly. You can do everything right. 13 seconds left. That Hunter's Fury is looking for them, trying left. to stop the plant from coming through. It's going to find the tag, but they can't deny it fully. Spike has been planted. Damage done to Delzik at least. And 
Uh, it's not the toughest of retakes for Furia, really. A lot of the dangers are gone, and they've already managed to deal with Klaus. Tags it, and Delzig though is still standing. They brought this back into contention, down to one versus two. Delzig gets the timing on the peak, into just one. QCK looking to try and face off against him, and he will keep them alive again. Sometimes it's just a ride off, and it's out of your control. This Screw time, being smart. looking to take things into their own hands. Nax, it's already moving towards the site, but he'll be shut down by Zan. A nice opening for the Furious side. But the push hasn't ended just yet. Crew are still looking to come into this site, and oh no, uh -oh. a missed shot off back site. Ooh, what? What? What's, What's going Zan on? Now he's still on. alive. He actually gets another with the no scope. I, I, I don't know how Zand lived that long, but he's made this one workable. Mazin, though, getting tagged up by the drone, is forced back, and he still gets hit by Mazzino. He's just going to hold that angle, not give him an opportunity, and Kesnit will close out the round. Again, a weak coming on through. Hasn't destroyed it, got rid of the Leer as well, and the Recon, that's great work from Mazin, who even ends up with a kill from this situation. Now by the looks of it, Crew are just going to stick the plant, get themselves into an after plant position and just fall back, or at least you think they'd fall back. One player still holds. Kesnip was going to be in trouble there, he, I don't think he would have gotten to the lockdown in time on the side, oh no, he's out of ammo, sat down to the classic, and his teammates will save the day, the spray away from Klaus isn't enough, and Furia save themselves. Well and slow things down at least a little. Garage control, again challenge four. Destroying some of that early utility once more, but Delzik's actually fighting this. Considering he's the man that has a lot of the stars, it's surprising, and you know what? Spot. And actually, NCR is still watching for this. It doesn't matter, he'll get the kill, and that's all that was really wanted by that side of things. Oh, Zand pushing up, he's gonna be caught by this turret. He's gonna destroy that, make him a little bit worried about that flank play. To dedicate some of the resources elsewhere, but for Crew oh, Mazzino oh, oh, oh. doesn't quite realize there's a second player there. It's a little bit awkward, but look at who's walking through the doors as we speak. Ooh. He's been spotted. The spray is good, oh, and he'll take oh, him down as well, leaving Zan to clutch this with an operator. And well, Tom, his chances aren't looking too good. Oh my goodness, this round was to bypass that position. If so, that is brilliant. Maybe that garage play was actually just a distraction because of like the goal of the man to do that is ridiculous. It is absolutely insane. I feel like crew have just got a better read over the game than they've Here. ever had before. Uh, their, their rhythm is perfect. That was a wall bank. Didn't notice that before. Not uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, oh, because oh. it was so low and in a little bit dangerous. Here. Klaus has been so good at sneaking up behind them, finding the gaps in that defense on the backside. Nags, it's about to be challenged by a classic wielding player. You won't expect that, and well, you won't be able to take him down. 15 seconds left. In through he goes, but Galil <laughs> takes him down. That's going to be the operator retreat, trying to harass in the back lines. Klaus will not be able to do all too much, and that defender Killjoy comes into effect. The plan has been secured though over towards this C site. Of course, the cosmic divide blocking the sound, allowing them to get in there, but it's still a two versus three and quite a late flank by Mazzino, mm -hmm. but the timing actually might be perfect. There is absolutely no way that they expect him to be here. He's got them all lined up. This is perfect. Mazzino takes the first. A little bit of trigger discipline maybe would have helped out there. Now this is in a little bit of danger. Yeah, they still have the pull though ready to try and get anybody off the spike. So the fact is it's going to buy a lot of extra time. This duel is absolutely everything. Zand is going to win it. And now it comes all onto Mazzino. But he has dropped the man who was on the spike. There is nothing that can be done here. Crew know already that they've won it. Delsic was already celebrating before the spike even went off. Crew 